Unit 731, The Japanese Horror Experiment Japan has revealed the identities of thousands of individuals associated with Unit 731, a notorious division of the Imperial Japanese Army notorious for carrying out lethal experiments on Chinese civilians during the 1930s and 1940s in pursuit of chemical and biological weaponry. In response to a request made by Katsuo Nishiyama, a professor at Shiga University of Medical Science, the nation's national archives have provided a roster of 3,607 individuals. This action could potentially spark renewed public discourse regarding the Japanese atrocities committed in occupied China prior to and during World War II. Professor Nishiyama conveyed to the Mainichi Shimbun newspaper that this is the inaugural instance of an official document unveiling the actual names of almost all Unit 731 members. He emphasized the list's significance as corroborating evidence supporting testimonies from those involved and noted its potential to expose concealed facts. Dated January 1, 1945, the document encompasses members of the Kwantung Army's Epidemic Prevention and Water Purification Department, the unit's formal designation. The list incorporates over 1,000 Army medical personnel along with numerous doctors, surgeons, nurses, and engineers, specifying their names, ranks, and contact information. While Japan begrudgingly acknowledged the existence of Unit 731 in the late 1990s, it has evaded discussions regarding its activities. Instead, information about the unit has relied on accounts from former members, photographs, and documentary materials. In 2006, former nurse Toyo Ishii disclosed her involvement in burying victims of Japan's biological warfare program in Tokyo as U.S. forces entered the city at the close of World War II. She recounted orders to dispose numerous corpses, bones, and body parts following Japan's surrender in August 1945. As the conclusion of the Second World War drew near, all inmates within the facility were executed to conceal any traces of evidence, and there is no documented record of any survivors. As the Red Army approached in August 1945, the unit was compelled to hastily abandon their operations. Ministries in Tokyo issued directives for the obliteration of all potentially incriminating materials, including those housed in Pingfang. Those who could serve as witnesses, including the 300 remaining prisoners, were subjected to gas poisoning or administered lethal poison. Simultaneously, the 600 Chinese and Manchurian laborers were gunned down. Ishii issued a directive for all members of the unit to vanish and carry the classified information to their graves. Potassium cyanide vials were provided for potential use in the event of capture by enemy forces. In the waning days of the war, Skeleton crews of Ishii's Japanese troops detonated the compound to eliminate evidence of their activities, although many structures managed to endure to some extent. Additional reports indicate that comparable experiments occurred in other regions of Asia. Former Dr. Akira Makino stated in 2006 that he had been instructed to conduct experiments on condemned individuals while stationed on the island of Mindanao in the Philippines. Founded in the mid-1930s in Harbin, northeastern China, Unit 731 conducted fatal experiments on approximately 3,000 prisoners, predominantly of Chinese and Korean origin. Historical records indicate that male and female prisoners, referred to as logs, by their tormentors, underwent vivisection without anesthesia after being deliberately infected with diseases like typhus and cholera. Some endured amputations or organ removal. As Japan faced impending defeat in the summer of 1945, the unit's leader, Lieutenant General Shiro Ishii, prohibited researchers from discussing their work and ordered the destruction of the unit's Harbin headquarters. At the war's conclusion, U.S. authorities confidentially granted immunity from prosecution to unit officials in exchange for access to their research. Several former Unit 731 members subsequently pursued successful careers in medicine, academia, and business. Reportedly, Professor Nishiyama intends to publish the list online to inspire historians to conduct further investigations into the unit. While the research commonly states there was 3,000 individuals as the prevailing number of internal victims, a different perspective is presented by former unit member Okawa Fukumatsu in a video interview. He contradicts this figure, stating that the actual count of victims subjected to internal experiments within the unit surpasses 10,000, with him personally performing thousands of VV sections the practice of performing operations on live animals, or in this case, humans. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, check out some of my other content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.